Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Rogers Hobby Center in Saginaw, Michigan, where the fun begins. This review covers the Smokey and the Bandit 2 Great Dane Trailer, or How to Save a Bandit. It's a 125 scale Ertel kit, number 8035. Originally released around 81, the Ertel 8031 uh, had been released and then a couple times later as finally the uh, Bandit 2 trailer. Smokey and the Bandit was a movie about Bo Bandit Darville and Cletus Snowman Snow. They were two bootleggers attempting to illegally transport 400 cases of Coors beer to Atlanta for wealthy Texan Big Enos Burdett so he could celebrate the race car victory there that he had in the race. In Smokey and the Bandit 2, they're transporting an elephant to the GOP National Convention. In both movies, Bandit drives a Pontiac Trans Am to distract the Smokey's attention from snowmans driving the semi. Now during their run, they're pursued mostly by Texas County Sheriff Buford T. Justice, who's seeking justice for his jilted son. The kit has over a hundred pieces, molded in silver, black, white, clear red, chrome, and black vinyl tires, and it's rated for advanced builders. When you're done, the final dimensions are 19 inches long, about 4 inches wide, and almost 6 and 3 quarter inches high. Oh, that's uh, Newt tapping on the glass there. He, um, he obviously has a question there. Come on in here, Newt. What is it? I never saw the movie, but I still can't figure out who's Smokey. That's funny. Um, Smokey was actually a trucker's term for any law enforcement officer, but in the movies it's mostly applied to Sheriff Buford T. Justice, who's chasing after his jilted son's runaway bride that Bandit picks up as an accomplice. They sound like fun movies. I'll have to watch, just to see how they could possibly weave these plots into a movie. For sure. They're, it's a real good time movie, but it's more fun if you just watch the non-stop action and forget about trying to make sense of it all. Here are the contents of the kit. And as you can see, there's some pretty big pieces there. Fortunately, they were mostly flat and square, so I didn't have much trouble putting them together. Um, there's quite a few wheels there, and uh, of course a number of pieces for that undercarriage. Now, unfortunately, the decals did not come with this kit. Um, and I got it for a very attractive price, uh, because of that. But um, we'll be using model mastered liquid cement, sometimes super glue for strength. The important thing was that after a while I had found some aftermarket decals for the first uh, Smokey and the Bandit semi trailer on eBay. Now I thought I would just build it as a bargain basement trailer to pose with one of our tractors, but when I found these decals available from the first uh, movie, I thought that they would still retain the movie mystique, and I knew right away that I should rescue this uh, bandit from oblivion. Construction starts with the tandem spring frame, and we're going to put the left and right frame together and the air tank and attach that to the frame. Now both the cross braces are installed between the tandem spring frames uh, left and right sides, and then the assembly is painted a semi-gloss black. Now paint the axles and the brake support plate semi-gloss black, and after they've dried, the brake support plate can be attached to each end of the axle. Also remember, you have to scrape off paint or chrome plating uh, for the parts to stick together. Now a brake actuating link plate is attached to a, a 39CR, and then the other link number 40CR, and they're attached to the axle uh, A for brake chamber and it's attached to the axle in the brake actuator 39. Now another brake chamber then is attached to the axle and the uh, brake actuating link 40. Now you repeat these steps to uh, put together the second axle. Here are some tools that will really help you make your model um, work uh, better for assembly. The C-clamps there, you can buy them as sets at just about any place uh, that sells tools. Um, Harbor Freight and Hobby Lobby have them available. And the F-clamps are a quick release unit with uh, rubber pads that uh, won't damage your parts. And they are great for uh, like putting the uh, uh, box together. Now I'm going to use the C-clamps uh, on the wheels next. 
Okay, now we'll tackle those uh, wheel assemblies. And we're going to take the uh, wheel spacers, there's four of them, and the inner rims, and those get painted semi-gloss black. And for the spare tire, we're going to install the tire rim uh, outside into a tire. Now you can install the spare tire rim inside to the other side of it, and attach that to the spare tire rims outside. Now for the road uh, wheel assemblies, install an outer wheel rim into a tire, and then uh, add a wheel spacer to the other side, and glued to the outer uh, wheel rim. Now slide an inner rim into a second tire, then install the second tire assembly onto the other side of the wheel spacer. Now we're going to repeat this uh, for the other three road wheel assemblies, and this is where the uh, seat clamps will help um, put those uh, wheels together and get them uh, to stay flat and assembled properly. So uh, I use the seat clamps here uh, to lightly keep the pressure on those tires to uh, make them uh, glue uh, together well. Let's put the um, tandem uh, assembly together and uh, both axle assemblies from the uh, figure 7 get attached to the tandem assembly uh, and then once uh, those are set uh, the mud flap uh, gets painted semi-gloss black and attached to the back end of that tandem assembly. Attach the four road wheel assemblies to the uh, axles and the backing plates there. And here's where you can use those F-clamps to kind of uh, keep these in position until this gets uh, all set up. Attach the kingpin to the floor of the uh, trailer box and um, I sprayed this with a silver metallic and uh, you can let that uh, set aside to dry. Paint the landing gear pieces you see here uh, metallic silver as well and then we're going to glue the, um, the left and right uh, you know gear sides to the cross brace. Then both gear posts are attached to the uh, sides and the sand shoes attached to the bottom of the gear posts. Next the landing gear assembly is uh, glued to the floor assembly and then the, the gear crank gets attached to the right side. Locate the pieces for the uh, spare tire bracket and uh, assemble the uh, cross brace and the rear brace together and then uh, that of course is also metallic silver and attach it to the floor assembly. Paint the uh, left and right uh, floor rails, uh, frame rails, uh, silver metallic and then attach them to the bottom of the floor. After everything is dried you can uh, glue the tandem assembly to the frame rails and the uh, location spots. Now remember scrape off any paint uh, or chrome uh, so that the parts will glue together properly. We can begin uh, working on the, uh, the trailer um, uh, enclosure now so uh, the door hinge gets uh, attached to the interior side of the right wall and then the right left and the bulkhead are attached to the roof. Now here's where those F clamps come in handy to keep everything together until the glue sets. It's then spray painted uh, metallic silver as well. Uh, I should mention that one of the uh, locator pins here was broken off uh, on the bulkhead but uh, the parts still went together and lined up properly at the edges uh, with the one uh, uh, pin still there. Uh, so don't be too worried about that unless they're both gone in which case you'll probably want to replace them. Clean up the side door of any uh, pins or um, points that were attached to it uh, from the sprue and um, then we're going to spray that uh, silver as well and the box assembly then is attached to the floor. Once that's dry, uh, once again use your uh, F clamps. Uh, the side door is carefully installed then into the trailer assembly. There are 11 uh, ID uh, lights and markers, 3 per side and 5 on the bulkhead that uh, can be attached with uh, some clear part cement or, or you can use white glue there. Paint the rear door frame and uh, door panels silver. And note the flash here that was on the door frame. Uh, you'll have to clean those up uh, along with anything else, uh, injector pin marks or sprue attachment points or flash or parting lines if you, if you want to clean this model up real nice. And then we're going to uh, attach the rear door frame to the trailer and then uh, assemble both the doors into uh, their respective locations on the left and right. Again, on the back side now, um, we're going to attach the, um, the ID lamps and the four stop and tail lamps. And they get attached to the rear door frame 
uh, with some clear part cement or white glue. Now uh, it's time to apply the vinyl uh, uh, side decals to the b uh, trailer box there. And uh, like I said, this, this uh, is the scene from the uh, first trailer. Uh, but it still it gives it uh, a flavor of the of the smoky uh, franchise, and um, I decided to uh, carefully place that into position there, and then uh, trim it off where it uh, comes up to the door and back to make sure that the door still works properly and opens up quite uh, quite comfortably. Uh, so if you can find one of these um, available, and they are sometimes on the internet, uh, go ahead and put that into place right now. Well, there you have it. Uh, your model is done, and uh, with the uh, additional aftermarket decal, you can see how this all fits together into uh, the Smokey and the Bandit franchise motif uh, with some of the other things available. Now, we've got it sitting here with Kenworth W900 kit, and it's like the one uh, uh, from the second movie, and it's issue that was issued uh, by Ravel. It's kit number 1507. They also offer the 77 Firebird from uh, the Smokey and the Bandit, and that's kit number 4027. I found a resin figure here uh, of Buford T. Justice uh, that's offered by Chimneyville Hobbies. That's uh, part number 6101. And as you can see, together uh, they make a great little Smokey and the Bandit display. And if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. Well, we hope you like this step-by-step -step model kit review and rescue. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand of any of our reviews. Or you can find us on Facebook or our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.